you to Zoom years ago? Actually, it was March of 2013. Zoom was only two months old when I discovered them. Immediately, I really felt like they were gonna change the way of communication and collaboration that we know it today. So then in 2013, I actually flew out twice to meet with Greg and Eric. And one time to save money, I actually drove in my van and then uh, stayed in your uh, pink Girl Scout tent. <laughs> And were you selling Zoom before you were actually an employee? Yeah, in 2013, I was a referral partner for them, and I sold uh, Arista Networks and Linear Technologies. How many salespeople were there when you started? I was actually the fourth sales rep. There was uh, Richard and Daniel and uh, Matt and then myself. It has been said that Zoom was a simple solution to sell. Was it easy? Actually, we had just about no marketing and no customers, so no, it really wasn't very easy. In fact, it was quite a struggle, and uh, when I started in November of uh, 2013, I, about four months later, I was not selling enough, and Greg actually was going to fly down to Phoenix, and we were going to say goodbye. Unbelievably, I don't know how this happened, but I was able to land, uh, this is two days before my 50th birthday party, and I was able to land the largest architectural firm in all of Arizona, which saved my job. <laughs> um, did you have any sectors that you went after? In 2013 and in 14 and a little bit in 15, we really concentrated on the universities. And two that probably stand out the most would be a site license for uh, BYU, Brigham Young University, and also at uh, Arizona State, uh, where Eva Lee goes to school. Hi, Dad. I'm coming from ASU in Tempe. I was wondering, what else do you sell to besides universities? Well, thanks for asking, Eve. Um, so in 2014 and 15, I transferred over to small and medium-sized businesses, primarily in the Midwest and then also in the Southwest. And then in uh, 2016, uh, Daniel, Nino, Richard, and myself started the Enterprise Division. And a couple of the ones that stand out with that would be, probably be GoDaddy here in Scottsdale and also uh, Caesars Entertainment in Las Vegas. So, hey, Eva, thanks for coming on the call today. Oh, okay. Yeah, great. Have a good day. All right, take care, bye. Why did you help start the healthcare division? Actually, when I interviewed in 2013, I met with uh, Eric and Greg and I said, you know, one sector that would really be great for Zoom would be telehealth. And because it works very well in low bandwidth areas, we did need to change some things on security and add some feature sets specifically go, to go after those hospitals, but it's probably been one of our best verticals to date. In healthcare, what were your biggest accomplishments? I would say probably 10,000 licenses at Magellan Healthcare spread out across the entire United States and also the largest telehealth deal that Zoom has ever done, 8,000 doctors at the Mayo Clinic. What are you most proud of with your time at Zoom? I think probably what I'm most proud of is that I had the vision before a lot of people but I also had the courage to go to such a young company. It also helps that you have a very understanding wife like Jail. What were you most satisfied with Zoom? Probably the most satisfaction that I got was the friendships, the long, lifelong friendships that I've created uh, with some of the Zoom employees that I believe will last a very long time. What were you most surprised with with your Zoom journey? I thought I would be surprised a lot on the technology, but it wasn't that. It was the biggest surprise was probably how good that the employees and the people that helped start it, Eric and Greg and, and other people were, that have brought it to this point. What is the biggest takeaway you have of Zoom? I'm proud to do my small part to help Zoom get to this point, and I'm certain that we're just getting started.